Today, let's find out a few unclear information about the JR Tokyo Wide Pass. Like, which is the last station that the pass covered before I need to pay? Do you know, not all Shinkansen lines and stations are covered? Which are the non-JR lines that I can take that will take us to those famous attractions? And let's find out whether the pass is worth it with three famous attractions that the pass covered. Let's start with the map. Here on this map, it cover a portion of the JR East lines, the Narita line, part of the Shinkansen lines, and some of the non-JR lines too. Narita line. For travelers who base themselves in or near Tokyo areas, this is the line they will most likely take. And the pass covered you to and from Narita airport within the three days period. These are the stations along the Narita line and the pass covered all these stations. But, which is the last station that the pass covered before I need to pay? And not all JR East lines and stations are covered by the pass. From this map, you need to take note of these stations because these are the last stations that the pass covered for the JR East lines. Beyond those stations, you need to pay the additional fares. Not all Shinkansen lines and stations are covered. In this map, the Tohoku Shinkansen trains traveling to Nasu Shobara stations will be the last station the pass will cover. Jotsu Shinkansen trains traveling to Ichigo Yuzawa and Gala Yuzawa stations will be the last stations that you can use with the pass. Hoku Riku Shinkansen trains traveling to Sakodera Station, the Sakodera stations will be your last stations that the Tokyo Wide Pass covered, beyond that you need to pay the fares. Which are the non-JR lines that the pass covered? The non-JR lines are, the Tokyo Monorail, Aizu Kyuko Line, Fuji Q Railway Lines, Joshin Den Tetsu Line, Saitama New Urban Transit, the Tokyo Waterfront Area Rapid Transit Line, and Tobu Railway Lines. But for some lines, not all the stations are covered. Tokyo Monorail It covered the route where most traveler will use. From Haneda Airport to the Yama no Te Line, which will bring you to Tokyo Station. The Tokyo Monorail cover these stations. Do note that, there are three type of trains. The Haneda Express, the Rapid Train, and the Local Train. Each individual train stopped at various train stations. The fastest and less stops is the Haneda Express train. Aizu Kyuko Line The Aizu Kyuko Line bring you to popular hot spring and resort along Aizu Line. It cover these stations. And here are some of the most famous onsen in Aizu area. From Atami to Shimoda, each has their own unique identity and onsen that you can experience during your stay. Fuji Q Railway Lines the Fuji Q Railway Lines is the line that you take for a day trips to Lake Kawaguchiko. It cover these stations. Regarding the ticket, it varies depending on the type of train. The JR Tokyo Wide Pass typically cover the basic fare ticket and the express ticket. Here's a table for your easy reference. A local train need a basic fare ticket only. A rapid train also need a basic fare ticket. For limited express train, it require a basic fare ticket, a express ticket, and a reserved seat ticket, for car number one which require additional fare. And for the Fuji Tozen Densha train, it require the basic fare ticket and the seating ticket which also require additional fare. Joshin Den Tetsu Line The Joshin Den Tetsu Line take you from Takasaki Station to Shimanita Station covering 20 stations. There are many Hachiman shrines in Japan, and the one in Yamana was constructed about 850 years ago. The deity here is believed to bring luck in childbirth and raising children. The shrine was renovated few years ago, and now even has a cafe and bakery. Saitama New Urban Transit Saitama is the prefecture just north of Tokyo, and the Saitama New Urban Transit line has 13 stations. But the Tokyo Wide Pass only allow you to take from Omiya Station to Tetsudo Haku Butsuken Station, where the Railway Museum is just beside the station. Tokyo Waterfront Area, Rapid Transit Line, or the Rinkai Line. Opened in 1996, a single line with eight stations, and it connects central Tokyo to the artificial islands of Aomi and Odeba. 
The pass cover these stations. You can access to Odeba, where it is a popular shopping and entertainment district, on a man-made island in Tokyo Bay. Tobu Railway Line The Tobu Railway Lines will bring you to Nikko, where the famous Nikko Toshoba Shrine is located. It cover these stations. Do note that, it cover from Shinjuku to Tobu Nikko Station, and not from Asakusa Station to Tobu Nikko Station. For JR Tokyo Wide Pass holders, you can ride trains on the Tobu Railway tracks that operate from Kurihashi to Tobu Nikko and Kinugawa Onsen during this specific interval. Who is this pass for? For travelers who want to base themselves in Tokyo and take day trips to Lake Kawaguchiko and Nikko. Hot spring lovers who want to stay at popular hot springs and resorts such as Karawazawa, Kasatsu, or Aizu. Urban explorers who want to enjoy traveling to places in and around Tokyo, such as Shinjuku, Akihabara, and Kamakura. Don't forget, it only covered the areas within this blue zone. Is it worth it? This is a three consecutive days pass, and the cost for adults is 10,180 yen, about 74 US dollars, and children is 5,090 yen, about 37 US dollars and it is only available for purchase by holders of a non-Japanese passport, and foreigners living in Japan can also purchase this pass. Let's pick three famous attractions from this pass, the Lake Kawaguchiko, Kusatsu Onsen, and the Nikko Toshugo Shrine. The return trips for these three attractions will cost you about 54 US dollars, 78 US dollars, and about 56 US dollars respectively. Total cost will be around 188 US dollars. Not including the cost within the Tokyo areas or even the Narita line that you would most probably take. It is a great buy if you intend to visit the three attractions in your Tokyo stay within the three days period or even just two attractions for your stay in Tokyo. Remember, the JR Tokyo Wide Pass is valid for three consecutive days, so plan your itinerary wisely to make the most of your pass. Whether you want to visit the iconic landmarks of Tokyo, explore the natural wonders of Nikko, or bask in the beauty of Mount Fuji, this pass gives you the freedom to travel at your own pace. Where to buy the Tokyo Wide Pass? The easiest way to get a JR Tokyo Wide Pass is by ordering it online. Or purchase directly from a JR East ticket machine that has the passport reader or from the staff at the ticket counter and make sure to take your passport with you as the sales staff will want to see it before handing over the rail pass. Important Notes These are a few travel terms and conditions for the JR Tokyo Wide Pass. If you want to find out more information, please refer to the links in the below descriptions. Thank you for watching, if you like the video, please click and subscribe and comment below.